Percy Jackson is here. How are we feeling? You guys made your debut. I want to say it was at, was it D23 that you kind of made? Yeah, that was our first big event. Mm -hmm. yeah. How has it been so far with the fandom? There is a giant fandom surrounding this series. It's been very exciting. You know, it's a very, I love the fandom. I love the Percy Jackson fandom. I've been a part of it since I was in third grade. I do not want to let them down. You know, we've all tried very hard in this, so we, we want them to uh, be excited for it. You know, yeah. I guess. My name is Percy Jackson. Am I a troubled kid? Yeah, you could say that. Bad grades, bullies, all the normal stuff. And then there's some stuff that's maybe not so normal. There you are. With so much like hope and expectations on us, mm -hmm. we don't want to let uh, anybody else down, but most of most of all, like ourselves, we want to make something that we would want to watch too, right. as, as fans mm -hmm. of the books. Percy. The stories I have told you about Greek gods and monsters, they are real. Now, uh, pe people watch this trailer and they're like, this looks like a faithful adaptation. In what ways is it, is it similar? Are there any deviations? What can fans expect? Since it's, I mean, in like show format, we have a lot more time uh, to get like almost everything in the books. I think we, we've gotten everything. I think we even added some stuff. Yeah. Remember what I taught you. You're gonna need to be brave now. If you have not read the books or and things, you definitely watch the series because we show a lot of detail from the books and even more like how he said, like we add a lot more. So. That's what I really feel like. If you haven't watched it, then the series would definitely be great for you because um, instead of you missing out on things that they couldn't fit in a two-hour movie, now you can watch it all in this long eight-hour thing. Yeah, so you mentioned third grade. What happened in third grade when you read the first book? All my friends were reading it. My friend Oliver, he told me I should read it, so I did. And uh, since then, I think I've read it seven times. Yeah. The whole five books, seven times, yeah. We were all pretty big fans of Percy Jackson before it. Do you, yeah. Does Oliver, do you talk to Oliver? I do. I play video <laughs> games with him sometimes, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's probably like, you're welcome. Yeah, he is. <laughs> you owe Oliver your career. Uh, yeah. I do. <laughs> Demigods process reality differently. We gotta figure out what you're good at. Should I try again? No! no! So there's a lot of skills involved in this, in, in shooting this. Was there anything that you did that you were like, oh, I'm surprisingly good at this or was <laughs> difficult to master? <laughs> um, for me, I, I think walking like a goat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how does one walk like a goat? So, it's actually a very <laughs> complex process, right? Um, a goat's heel is higher up on their leg. They brought this like guy in, like a movement coach. His name was Rod, he's the coolest guy ever. And we sat down for like two hours and just dissected how like a goat's leg looks. And their heel is higher up on their leg than it is for people and they never like walk backwards. And so we took um, like a full two months of, of prep just to like, like I was learning how to walk like a goat and now I can't stop doing it. <laughs> like it hurts to walk normal and it's a little scary. Percy Jackson. We've been expecting you. We did a fair bit of like fighting, sword fighting and stuff. Mm -hmm. We all trained a little bit yeah. at the beginning. So yeah, that was pretty fun. I didn't know I was that good at controlling people. <laughs> like, I didn't know. Tell me I, more. <laughs> it's probably collaborate on that. I'm a person who listens all the time, but I feel like in this, I'm more of the um, person who says, no, you listen. Like, usually mm -hmm. when people tell me things, I'm like, okay, sure, I got it. But then when I get into this thing and stuff, like, if Percy says something like, hey, how about we do this? I'm not that person that's like, okay, maybe we should try it out. I'm like, no, we're not doing that. No, I don't, I don't know where you thought that you would do that, but no. <laughs> and then it's like, it's funny because I'm like crushing their dreams. I didn't know I could really do that, but You're I like really it. great at that. Yeah. 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 Just really great at crushing dreams. Really great at that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I know it sounds daunting, but you won't be alone. A quest is always undertaken by three. It seems like, I, you know, the chemistry between this cast is obviously very important. Was there anything you guys did to bond as a cast offset? 
No, they left me out actually. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we <laughs> just we left her out every time. We tried as hard as possible to not hang out mm -hmm. the whole set. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we went to dinner a lot, I think. Yeah. Um, but we spent so much time on set together yeah. that when we got home, we just went to bed. I think. Yeah. <laughs> Like I had enough of you guys at work, and I'd be hanging out with my coworkers. Yeah. <laughs> Things have changed. This is all developing a lot faster than we anticipated. Clover, why is your apple goat in your pants? So the important thing is not to panic. So um, bring us back to the moment when you found out that you got the role. What was your reaction? So actually, I was coming home from uh, school. This was after I did the audition, and like, usually like, um, I asked my mama like I love to shop a lot, but you know like, I can't just come home from school and just shop every day. So it was just weird because I was like, Ma, can I go shopping? She was like, yeah, get whatever you want, honey. You know, like, this is your day, you know, like, um, you know, like, you're good. But then we get in the car and then I, I'm not even lying to you. I don't know how I didn't see them, but my family was in the back of the car. And when we were like, when we were driving like from school, I never even looked back. So like, like it scared me when I saw them in the back of the car. They start pulling their phones out, I'm like, Whoa, I'm like, hold on, what's going on here? I was gonna say no paparazzi, please. But <laughs> let, me, let me stop. But like, um, like they were just recording. I'm like, what is going on? We get on the phone and then it's my manager. So you know that show Percy Jackson? I was like, yeah. She's like, you got the part. I was like, what? I was going crazy. After we were driving in the car, I was just like blank. Like, yeah. I don't know, but like, it didn't hit me until I was actually there, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. We were sent on a quest by the gods. What do you think it would be easy? Demigods, welcome. So, let's get to know each other a little better. Who was most likely to make everybody laugh on set? Probably Leah. I I'd say Leah. Yeah. 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 Who's most likely to flub their lines? Well, oh. Sorry, Amy's. Yeah, I probably would. <laughs> there was one day in Hoogie's Palace, you remember that? I had like, it wasn't even that long of like a, a paragraph. Oh yeah, the set. elevator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that one too. But um, it's the the scene where I'm like talking to Hades. And I, I think it took like at least three fourths of the day to remember like a quarter of it. I just completely <laughs> forgot it. Reading the comments, I don't recommend, but I read all your guys'. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't recommend for me. Um, but a lot of people were like, I love this casting because these guys actually seem like their respective characters. Mm -hmm. Who is most like their character and, and how do you relate to them? Mm. I think Walker is most like Percy. I was just about to say that. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess I relate to him. I think we have very similar uh, senses of humor. I guess, yeah, I think so. He's very um, uh, rebellious, is a good way of putting it. Just, maybe I won't even need a sword. I'm gonna need a sword. 